What's happening guys? I'm just going to use this fish tank as a backdrop for this video. Um, just want to talk about, well, survival and survival, bug out bags and probably, probably a bit of prepping I suppose in there too. Um, I suppose it's seen as three separate subjects, all the same intention I suppose. Um, so this is what I've been looking at lately. I've always been in the outdoors and things like that, which I probably should maybe do a few videos of outdoor trips and things. Um, I probably need to get better. I need to get a computer that can actually edit and things like that to do the videos. But uh, anyways, um, I got a a bag. And uh, I take it with me now. I've just got a few things on it. And especially this time of year, it's winter here. Although we haven't had any snow, it's just been lots of rain. And I think if we're going to have a disaster where I live, it's probably most likely going to be flooding. Um, and I hate water, so it sucks. Um, so, um... It's a subject I could very interested in, uh, bug out bags and things. Everyone seems to be in the same sort of lines, but everyone has their own personalized things. So you have torches and wallets and biggest key punches ever you've seen. I just thought I'd keep mine very simple. Although I'm still still uh, looking into it uh, with things I have on it. Um, we have probably quite severe rules and knives and things guns in this country so it's it's a bit harder so at the minute I, I've been getting stuff sorted for the car because it's probably the most thing I use and if anything goes wrong I'll most likely be in the car up a mountain broke down so it's good to have things uh, like blankets I got a good fleecy blanket for the car the other day it took them in handy um, Got my eye on a real good first aid kit, which I'm gonna put in for the fire extinguisher. So hopefully I'll start building it up. It's no time like the present, I suppose. But I want uh, your views on it. It's it's not like a new subject for me, but it's always good to hear what other people use. I've been watching a lot of videos and things on it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be as mad as some of the preppers I've been watching who buy like 10,000 tins and build their, build their house around it <laughs> I just don't have the space here to do that and uh, I'd probably eat most of it the time a disaster happened and as I say I think that uh, if any disaster here will be flooding anyway so I'd need to buy a boat probably <laughs> Um, but I, I still maintain that if you got a good knife and a source of water, you can make shelter, you can find food from somewhere. And just very basic. Although I, I am interested in prepping. It's good to watch. Some people are a bit crazy on others and take it to real extremes and have so much stuff that you don't know if it's a grocery store or if it's a house. Um, it's kind of crazy. Um, I definitely believe in the, a bug out bag as it's called or a get home bag I think that's a great idea so I've been working on that it's just not really 100% put in and it is a personal sort of thing um, but I do have a 3 year old son and a girlfriend to have to take into consideration as well but I don't think they'd be too much interested in it until it actually happens so um, if I want to get a bag done, uh, I must do a video on it. It'll be the shortest video in the world because I don't believe people really want to sit and watch someone take all their stuff out of a bag. <laughs> Although it's different probably in America because you've uh, got Walmart, which is a pretty good store, and you seem to have everything in there. We don't really have that over here. So, pretty much, I want to hear. Your views on survival. It's, it's different around everyone's got different views on it and have 
different ideas of what's going to happen. Obviously, I think flooding is going to happen. Some people think it's, I don't know, going to be, well, we don't get earthquakes here. Although we had a couple of small ones over the years, but that's like tremors, probably the best way to put it. And it's all different pieces around the world of different disasters. So I don't know what your views are on it. Well, not that it really matters, part of the world's going to end in two or three days time anyway. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video before then. Uh, but if it doesn't end, <laughs> and we get past that, um, it would be good. Yeah, especially because next year I intend to do a lot more hiking and... Uh, you know, go on trips through England and stuff, or maybe further afield if I can set up a few things. I'm not sure of of good areas to go to. I've been following a few people on. There's a guy in Scotland there, Colin Outdoors. He's got really good videos. He goes to some real awesome places. Um, it's kind of the sort of things that I would be doing at the minute. Um, but I don't see myself climbing Ever Everest anytime soon because <laughs> I don't have ten grand to spend. <laughs> so yeah. Pretty much, I want to hear about your survival thoughts, um, thoughts on bug out bags, and uh, thoughts on preppers. Uh, be really good to hear it. And uh, also, places to go and go and see. Uh, good places to go hiking. I'm from the UK, so I think a, a trip to the New Forest. We went there last year. It was pretty good. So I'll probably go back there again. Uh, so that's all I really want to talk about. Just my thoughts on. Well, they're very limited at the minute uh, from what I've been reading and watching. So I think it's definitely good to be prepared because we will probably not always have water run at a tap. Um, electric can drop off so quick, and fossil fuels can just disappear with a click of a finger overnight, sort of thing. So it. Uh, it has got me thinking, you know, these things could happen. It's always to think, always good to think of the worst, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, let me hear your thoughts on it, guys. So, I really need to buy a, a proper camera, because I'm doing all these videos on my phone. But to be fair, it's handy on my phone, because uh, I just stop this video and hit upload job done I walk away uh, but I got a, a camera I have to get all the leads out and plug it in so it's just me being lazy so I do apologize if the videos are all over the show and every like really bouncy like this <laughs> um, but I do want to thank all the subscribers still for watching and commenting it's, it's pretty cool so I don't think I get anyone subscribing or watching but there you go <laughs> Uh, I've subscribed to a lot of people lately. I mean, a lot of people. Uh, and the reason why I do subscribe is because I can get your videos, any new videos, straight up onto my phone. As soon as you put it up, I will, it'll tell me. So, keep your videos coming up. I like watching them. Whenever I'm doing nothing, I flip up the phone and watch your videos. You'd be surprised the amount of knowledge I've learned from you guys. So, keep your videos coming. Um, my videos aren't as exciting but there you go <laughs> I'd just like to share a few thoughts every now and again and I'm going to let this go now because uh, I apparently have 53 seconds so I'll talk to you all soon